I have dominion. Let's be on our feet and begin to lift up our hands to thank God. For this is the day he has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. The psalmist says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Give thanks to him. We are here to celebrate the faithfulness of our God as directed by the apostle over this commission that today, worldwide, is a universal day for thanksgiving and praise night. Why don't you lift up your hands and begin to thank God, thank him for the goodness he has given to us, for he's a loving father, for bringing us this far, for making it possible for you and I to see this day, and for giving us his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to come and redeem us from all our sicknesses, our diseases, and the sins of the whole world. He took it upon his shoulder. Why don't you thank him? Because he's a loving father. He loves us. That was why he gave his most precious son, his holy son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank him. Thank him as you praise him this evening. That Lord God, let the blessings that is associated with this season, because Jesus Christ is the reason for this season, let that blessing come upon every worshiper tonight here in the name of Jesus. Thank him. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you. Lord, we magnify your name. We give you all the glory because you have made it possible for us to be in your sanctuary, to give you praise. We are here to give you quality praise. And as we praise you, Lord, let your glory come down. Let your presence be felt in our midst this evening in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to thank him for all he has done. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. The choir.
If you are grateful to God to be alive tonight, Christmas Eve, standing in the sanctuary and not in the mortuary, lift up your voice tonight again and shout a loud hallelujah. hallelujah. Give the Lord a big, 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 big hand tonight with a shout of glory. You may please be seated. In a short while, we shall be rising up to give quality thanks unto God on a day like this. If I may also understand in Psalm 103, verse 4 of it, he said, Who redeemeth our life from destruction and crowned us with tender mercies? He redeemed our life from destruction by sending the Redeemer. So we soon rise up with thanking God for the gift of life, for the preservation. All through the year, God has kept us as individuals. He has preserved us as a church, as a commission. We've never had a better yesterday. We are moving from glory to glory. So for good health, for salvation, for strength, for preservation. I'd like you to be outstanding. Lift up your mouth, your hands, and begin to judge God for to Say, Lord, I have come tonight. I am not a murmurer. I am not a complainer. I judge you faithful. I'd like you to be upstanding. Open wide your mouth. Begin to celebrate him. Judge your faithful. Father, I have returned tonight with a heart of gratitude. I have come to thank you for the joy of salvation. Thank you for redeeming my life from destruction. Thank you for grace and glory. As a family, you have kept us in all our ways from the beginning of the year up to this moment. We have never had a better yesterday. Thank you. As a church, you have increased us on every side. You have increased us on every side. We judge you faithful. Thank you for the multitude you have drawn to yourself in all our services. Thank you for the salvation of souls. Thank you for your work ever coming from this altar. You back in your work with signs and wonders. We return tonight to George Fetu. Is the Lord hearing your voice tonight? Lift up your hands. We may to the Lord. Give you thanks in your understanding. Give you thanks in the spirit. Thank you and thank you and thank you. Blessed be the holy name. In Jesus' most precious name, we have given thanks. Put your hands together for the Lord and please you may be seated. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. That response is too cool for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Shout a bigger hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. We are told that where purpose is not understood, abuse is inevitable. So what is the essence of Christmas? Why did God send Jesus into the world for you and I? It says, for unto us a child is born. A son, which is the son of God, was given to us as a gift. And upon his shoulder would the rulership and leadership of, and government of those world be. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Amazing. His name shall be called Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The essence of Christmas was the delivery of peace to mankind, was the delivery of all of God's intention for mankind embodying in an, in an individual, which is his only begotten son that he gave to us in order for us to get back to that original place where God has made us. The reason and the purpose of Christmas is to bring man back to his place with God, where we are a God in the world and we have dominion in the world. So once again, on behalf of God's servant, Pastor Israel King Sawyer, you are welcome to this praise night. And it's our hope that the essence and the purpose of Christmas will be your manifestation and your reality in the name of Jesus. The gift of God's Son 
will be accomplished in your life. And that is the reason why you have all the local standing and the legitimacy to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Let's put those blessings together for Jesus. You are welcome. God bless you. Isaiah chapter 7, 
verses 10 to 14. Isaiah chapter 7, verses 10 to 14. The Bible reads, Moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahab, saying, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in depth or in height above. But Ahab said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you to be to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. May the Lord bless his holy reading in the name of Jesus. Now to take us further in this Christmas carol and praise night, is my honor and privilege to invite the Teens Church for their special administration. The Teens Church, can we put our hands together as they come? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we are in the, in, we are in the festive season, so we need to get energetic. Hallelujah. Amen. We, the Teens Church, we are here to present a song. And as you listen, may you remain blessed in Jesus' name.
Put our hands together again for the two choirs. To take us further in this uh, night of praise and, and uh, Christmas carol service, I have the honor to call on these special uh, people for their administration in this order. Sister Vera Adeni Wang, Brother Moses Obiaku, and Brother Chief Bishop. In this order, Sister Vera Adeni Wang, Brother Moses Obiaku, Giving four minutes each. Thank you. Hallelujah. I want to thank God that for my life today with this song, this song I'll be blessed. If not for you. For you, Jehovah, if not for you, Omega, oh Lord, I got no hope of you. If not for you, Jehovah, if not for you, oh Lord, oh Lord, I got no hope of you. 
Aleluia. Aleluia. And here to worship God, he sits upon the throne. He's God all by himself. Aleluia. Only you are God, be great, be great. Only you are God, be great, be great. Only you are God, only you are God, be great, be great. Only you are God, only you are God. Be great, be great. Only you are God, only you are God. Be great, be great. Only you are God. At the right hand of the Father, you are holy, holy, you are holy. Lamb of God, you were seated at the right hand of the Father, you are holy. newborn king. I don't know what you came to present this evening. Can you just wave your hands to Jesus as you present this song to him? It's really simple. I hear 
Calling that they said Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, oh God, our Father, they told us what you did, what you did in that day, how you parted the Red Sea. You raised the dead. Oh God, you gave them such mighty victory. And in our days, we've seen you do what they say. It's impossible. It only tells us only you are faithful. It only tells us only you are able. I heard so much about you. about you and I came to see if it was true and everything I see is good I just want to worship say Jesus 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 wherever you are lift up your voice say Jesus You are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. I just want to worship you. I heard so much about you. I came to see if it was true. And everything I see is good. I just want to worship you. Wave your hands to your maker. Hallelujah. If that hand is for Jesus, make it bigger. Hallelujah. At that night when Christ Jesus was born, there was a great drama. And this drama, drama was the drama that transformed you and I into the son and daughter of light. Therefore, tonight, it is, I am gratified to announce to you as we call on stage to present to us the drama group. Please put your hands together for them. Therefore, as they are presenting their drama, if you are here, you have a testimony. You know God has been so good to you since the year began and today. You are here as a testifier. Why don't you move to the honor entrance and document your testimony? And you shall be called at the due time. God bless you.
praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Since uh, uh, it seems the drama unit are not ready, please choir minister to join us.
Clap some more for the mass choir. Hallelujah. I believe the drama unit is ready now to present their playlet. Hallelujah. But before then, please be reminded that testimonies have been announced earlier. You have one, and I know God has visited you. So go to the honor entrance, document it, and you will be given the opportunity to share with the brethren. Now let's put our hands together as we welcome the choir presentation. The drama presentation, I beg your pardon. God, I'm tired of serving you. I I'm not going to serve you again, no. I'm not going to serve you again. Ah, where have I gone wrong? Where have I gone wrong? Since I got married five years ago, you don't want to give me my own child. My mother-in-law is at the village. Every morning she will call me. When are you giving me my own grandchildren? I'm tired. I'm tired. See the promotion I was supposed to receive since last year. None of them has ever come. And I have my mates in my office. They've all gotten their promotion. And I'm serving you. What is the reason that I'm serving you, God? I'm not going to serve you again, no. I trek in the morning. I don't even have a car of my own. I don't even have a tire. And you say I'm serving you. Okay, you push it. Just help me look at this thing. Eh? Because of this, this, this same issue. I, I joined one, one unit. What's the name of that unit? I, I don't even know. Eh? They say it's a... Um, They say it's crowd, crowd, um, crowd control. They say it's crowd control unit. I've been controlling the crowd for over three years now. I thought by now I'll be controlling my own millions. Eh? I don't even have anything, nothing to show, nothing. Now Christmas is here. No food. There's not even a cup of rice in my house. People are killing chicken, and I'm there. No chicken, no tomato, no nothing. And you want me to serve you. How am I going to serve? I'm tired. I'm not going to serve again. I'm tired. I'm, I, I, I'm tired. I won't serve you again. Where have I gone wrong? I'm not going to serve you again. Oh, God. You better do something or you just have to do something. Hey! Jesus. Papa Ligwe. Moke bine loka deyana akunala. The king of king. Lord, I worship you. Since April I joined this church, you have changed my life for good. Imagine me. The way you brush me up like where they are brushing jeans. Ah! 
this God, you are wonderful. Imagine things are just walking everywhere. Every door is just opening everywhere. But God, I don't know what happened this time around though. Shiloh. They said Shiloh is where Tineke, but meet human mother. Where God comes and meets men. And God, I took that opportunity because I know that was where my opportunity lies. And I took the opportunity and saw the seed of two million naira. Expecting 10 million naira in one week. But God, I've not seen anything now. Shilo ended since 8th, 8th of December. And I've not seen anything. God, why now? They say you don't sleep and you don't slumber. But in this one, you need to wake up, God. You need to wake up because I don't understand. 24th. At least my children and I would have traveled to Dubai now. Is it a bad thing for me and them to go for vacation? I don't understand. You need to wake up from this, your sleep. Just seven days to go. 2019 is coming to an end. Oh my God. What do I have to show for it? Nothing. Just nothing. Two weeks ago, two weeks, my wife came to me, told me that she's packing her load and she's leaving my house, that she can no longer take the heart. Oh, as if that wasn't enough. My beloved son, John, was driven out of school because I was unable to pay his school fees. No job, frustration all around. I've been waiting for Ministry of Finance to come in. They said they will, they will. Submitted my CV year and there. All I could hear, good qualification, good qualification. We'll get back at you. Nothing to show for it. The other day, a maker invited me. I should come for the dedication of his duplex. Look at me. No care I pay. I can't even pay my ass rent. Ah! But God, in all this, I judge you faithful. I say thank you because I'm not in the hospital. My legs are strong. Oh, you are too faithful to fail. You are the I am that I am. You said the plans you have for me are of good to give me an expected hand. Your word, your word make me to understand that the lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. He said, yeah, I have a godly heritage. Jesus, I say thank you for I have life, for saving my soul. Let your name alone be glorified. Ah, so men are criminal at Emirates Terminal. Here now, I may take them. Here in Gary and Abu Mai. Thank you, my father. Thank you, ancients of days. Thank you, bride and minister. Thank you, the lily of value. Oh, I am much more better than a million. I have people that are there, but I am strong and heavy. I give you glory. You are too faithful to fail. I don't know where you are. There is power in thanksgiving. The pathway to call God down to earth to answer you is in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not in bargaining with God. I will give you this and you give me that. God is calling on you. Give me thanks and I myself will come down. Thanksgiving is done by thanksgiving. What is this? What is this? Oh, is this Sandra? Ingratitude can be that pathway to the downfall of that man. Come out of it. Thanksgivers are thanksgivers. When you thank God, it's worse for you. Thanksgiving is for the people who thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Adoration be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to my King. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to 
glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the King, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord, glory, glory, you take your seat. Hallelujah. It's time for the second scriptural reading. The second scriptural reading is taken from Matthew chapter number 1 from verse 18 to 21. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with, a, with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. Verse 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. I have dominion. The psalm is speaking in Psalm 89, verse 1. It says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. It is testimony time. I say it is testimony time. Let's invite the following brethren to come forward and share their testimony as we clap for Jesus. Bishop Francis A. Let's clap for Jesus as they come forward. And Dikibu Jiri Bomanuel. If you sound like your name, please come forward for your testimony. Bishop Francis and Dicky Bujiri Bobmanuel. Once I was blind, now I can see your name. Hallelujah. I'm uh, Bishop Francis A. in my primary. I just want to give thanks to God. 2019, really, is a year of breaking limits. Uh, I want to start in January. God added a year to my wife, February, God added a year to me, become 40 years this year. This year, this is the same year, I just want to give thanks to God. I was among those that convocate. This year, again, the devil stroke. By this time, April, I could have been in the mortuary. I had an accident, but God set me through. My dad, I survived the accident. My dad survived the accident. This is the same year, in the month of June, devil stroked. All my family, we were hospitalized. But I just want to give God this glory that this December, as if it was not going to happen. The devil said, ah, because I made a covenant. I said, last year, I begged to celebrate Christmas. I said, this year, I will not beg to celebrate Christmas. And God blessed me all around that. I just want to give thanks to God and the blessing keep on multiplying. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. Hallelujah. Your name. Praise the Lord. My name is Dikibu Dre Bob Manuel. I am here to say thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done in 2019. 
2019, the beginning of it was really, really, I would say, awesome because uh, a lot of temptations came from family, from everything, but God saw me through. At the end of the day, God crowned it all with a new job. I am here to say thank you. Since I joined this commission in 2011 and gave my life to Christ and did a baptism and Holy Ghost, everything, I don't think I've had time to even take malaria drugs for anything, not even when I was pregnant of this boy. I am here to say, Father, thank you for health, for wealth, for prosperity, for all that you have done for me. I say thank you for me. I give you all the glory. Our God is a faithful God. Who is there for the testimonies? Let's give him praise tonight. Father, we thank you for all this. Your amazing act now means take all the glory in Jesus' name. Someone excited to be in the presence of God this evening. Shout hallelujah. To take us further in this service, we'll be having in this order, Sister Angela, Favor, and Children, Sister Glory Nice, brethren from Tudu Wada Church. I thought you appreciate Jesus. Everybody, four minutes. Thereafter, Pastor Matthew Ojo, Brother Adegbite and children, and Sister Olufunke Emmanuel will be coming up for their presentation. With Jesus' joy, let's put our hands together for Jesus as we we'll make welcome Sister Angela Favor and children. Four minutes only. Followed by Sister Glory Nice. God bless you. The title of our song is, Is He Worthy? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone? 
Jesus is worthy. Put your hands together for Jesus. Sister Nice, please come up now. Sister Nice, let's put those hands together for Jesus. As we welcome Sister Nice. To do what our brethren, come up immediately after Sister Nice. Four minutes, please. Thanks for the privilege, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to do a song, a birthday song to my loving father. All hail the power of Jesus Christ. Be blessed as you listen. together for Jesus to do what our brethren to do what our brethren with Jesus joy let's welcome the to do what our brethren four minutes God bless you if you know you can't sing like please put your hand together for Jesus Hello. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like you lift up your hands to Jesus and shout aloud. Hallelujah. I call this worthy of our praise. We've come to give you praise this evening. And we've come to say you are king of kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Somebody make a noise. Jesus, because I have come to say thank you, Lord. I've come to lift up my hand to give back to you. Hey, I've come to say thank you, Jesus. I have come to say thank you. What have you come to do tonight? I've come to seek you all the praise, God. I have come. Hey, I've come to say thank you, Jesus, for the gifts of life. I have come to say, to say thank lift your voice, Lord. say, say, call the praise, say, call the praise, say, call the praise, say, call the praise, Jesus. Say, I have come to lift up my hands. What's your agenda tonight? What have you come to do? Say, I have come to say thank you, Lord. I've come to lift up my hands. Come and lift your hands to, to Jesus. Give him glory. I've come to say thank you, Jesus. I have come to say thank to you. Say thank you What's the agenda tonight? I've come to lift up my hands. I have, I have come, come. I've come to, to lift, lift up my up hands. My I've hands. come to say thank you, Jesus, for the gifts of life. I have, I have come, come to say, to say thank you. Lift your you voice, say, say, call the praise. Say, call the praise. Say, call the praise. praise. You've been so faithful. Say, call the praise. Call the praise. To give you a shout, I have come to give, give God a shout. Let's scream to say thank you, Lord. I have come to say, to say thank you. Hey, take all the praise. Take all the praise. Appreciating Jesus to take us further, we'll be welcome, Pastor Matthew Ojo, and he'll be followed immediately by Adegbite and family, brother Adegbite and children. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. 
Sister Alufunke, get ready. Come up. You come up after the Adek BTS. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for this privilege to reach out to us in this song this evening. The night Jesus was born. So it was a holy night where all the stars shine so bright. And tonight, We have come to give him praise one more time. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night. I did save your spirit. Long live a war in sin and error pining till he'll appear and the souls felt his war. The thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks the new glorious morning fall on your knees oh hear the angels voice Oh, night divine, oh, night, when Christ was born, oh, night divine, oh, night. Jesus 
Jesus Christ is the Lord of love. He's the Lord. Can I hear you sing it one more time? Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. Jesus Christ is the Lord of love. Jesus Christ is the mighty God. Sing Emmanuel. He shall be called Oh, oh. For he shall set his people free from sin. Oh, hey. Jesus, Jesus Christ went about doing good, healing the sick, casting out every demon here. Yeah. Hey. They began, to, they began to call him the King of Kings. They began to call him the Lord of Lords. They began to call him the Mighty God. They began to call him the Prince of the Sea. Emmanuel, he shall be called. I know, I know. For he shall set his people free from sin. Hallelujah. Let's make welcome the Adabic, Adabites. Praise God. The Adabites, please rush to the altar now. Why Sister Olufunke will come up immediately after them, the Youth Alive Choir. Please get said, you come up. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, let's make welcome Sister Olufunke Emmanuel. It seems the uh, Digbites are still getting ready. Sister, put those blessings together for Jesus. Keep jamming those hands together. Youth alive, are we set? Put those hands together for Jesus. Let's have the youth alive. All right, the youth alive, they are set for us. Put those blessings together for Jesus as we make welcome the youth alive. Praise the Lord. Revelation 10, sorry, Revelation 4, 10, 11. I paraphrase. It's talking about the 24 elders that kneel before Jesus Christ or the Lord Most High to praise him for every day. And they don't only worship him. What do they do? They also lay their crowns and worship him. As you listen, may God, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. All the
Hallelujah. If you can sing, please clap now. <laughs> to take us further, let's make welcome the teens' church for their presentation. Put those blessings together for Jesus and make it louder until they get here.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus with a beautiful clap offering for that wonderful rendition from the Teens Church. It is offering time. I said it's offering time. Every good and wise farmer always looks forward to seed time, knowing that his harvest is embedded in his seed time. Speaking in Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, he said, Why the earth remains? So seed time cannot be wished away is what always comes to pass and gives birth to harvest time. All the ordinances God has set in place, they are all there to show God's faithfulness in our lives. As we are done packaging our offerings this evening in honor of Jesus, shall we rise up on our feet, lift that offering up, your tithes, pledges, all the vows we have made and everything we have put together this evening to come and worship God, lift it up high, and once again celebrate God's faithfulness for the privilege to sow again, for this great opportunity to invest into our future, knowing that this is a fighter ground. Every seed sown here always brings forth. Our harvest is in view as a result of this seed that is about sown today. I want you to begin to celebrate God and appreciate him. What are you tying it to tonight? That as this seed is sown, an end has come to lack and want. An end has come to failure. An end has come to dryness. This provokes our heavens to open from today. An abundance of rain will begin to attend to us in the mighty name of Jesus. The seed is blessed. It shall bring forth a hundredfold for each and every one of us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's be seated joyfully and cast our offering as we welcome the choir to minister. You are my velocity. 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 That's about God who is powerful. That's about God who is mighty. This God is a good God. You can call him a miracle. That's about God who is powerful. That's about God who is mighty. This God is a good God. You can call him a miracle. Oh, <laughs> 
are in church, brethren. Hallelujah. You serve a miracle working God. You serve a God whose hand is too good to fail you. Here you are in the sanctuary on the 24th day of December 2019. Are you giving glory to the King of Kings? Bless his name one more time. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Adore him. Worship him. Bless his name. He has done all things well. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' most precious name. I said in Jesus' most precious name. Put your hands together and please take your seat. This Christmas carol stroke praise night will not be complete without sharing the word of God. And this evening, I am grateful to God, our Father in heaven, for life. Also very grateful to our Father in the house, the resident pastor, Pastor Israel Akisoya, for this privilege. I'm privileged to share with us this evening topic that is titled Celebrating the Birth of Christ. Celebrating the birth of Christ. How many of us understand that Christmas connotes the birthday of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Celebrating the birth of Christ. Therefore, what is special in the birth of Christ? What is special in this celebration? I'd like to begin by saying that you will not be able to comprehend the answer to that question until you know and understand the meaning of Christ. Christ means Messiah. Christ means Savior. Christ means salvation. Therefore, that day, God decided to bring your Messiah, my Messiah, my Savior, your Savior, my salvation, your salvation. That is why it is worth celebrating because you are saved forevermore. I thought someone is saying amen. Christmas is a season of celebrating the joy that the birth of Christ brought to the world. Great joy. Luke chapter 2, verse number 10, and the angel said unto them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Someone is going home today with great joy. As you are leaving this service, you shall be receiving good news. And those good news will give you great joy. I thought someone is saying amen. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. So, when the angels were giving that message to the wise men, they saw you. That is why they said, we shall be to all people, including you. Thank God you are receiving the good news today. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is a season of celebrating the giving grace of God to mankind. The giving grace of God to mankind. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. I'd like you to take note of that word. Not that for God loved the world. For God so loved the world. That emphasis of soul put beyond the ordinary love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He didn't give rags. He didn't give what does not cost him anything. His only begotten son. That whosoever including you and I, believeth in him, should not perish. You shall not perish. I say you shall not perish. But have everlasting life. That is the giving grace of God to mankind. It is worth celebrating. Ephesians 2 verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is of 
It is the gift of God. Lest anyone boast that I have done what has made me to be saved. No, the grace of God. The gift that God gave to you and I on that day. So we must celebrate that gift. The giving grace of God. No wonder Jesus boasted in John 10 verse 18. No man taketh it from me. For I lay it down of myself and I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it up again. The giving grace of God. This commandment have I received of my father. And that commandment has been given unto us. The giving grace. I'd like you to understand that Christmas is not for you. Like many people have taken it to take on themselves the ministry of matter. Busy here and there cooking. That is not the essence of Christmas. Christmas is in showing love. The grace of God that has come. The salvation that this grace has brought to you. Christmas is in also sharing this grace of God to your brethren and to people around you. Showing the love in giving. And that is why you discover that when the wise men visited Jesus at birth, they couldn't live there until they gave. And their giving delivered them from the Holocaust that would have befell them from the hand of Herod. And after they gave, the angel told them, don't go that way, otherwise there is calamity. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, everything you have given out during this Christmas shall bring salvation to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. They were saved because they gave. That is the essence. They shared the love. They gave him. So this is the birthday of Jesus Christ. The best you can do for him is to give him a gift like the wise men. And what give, gift are you to give him? The gift of souls. Go out there, share the love of Jesus Christ to everyone. Tell them Jesus loves you. That is the reason why he came. Give him so, and you will see how he will direct your ways all through 2020. Jesus brought salvation to the world. So, you and I must let the world know that this season is to give them the good news and the good tidings that Jesus brought. Salvation of their souls. Salvation of their body. Salvation of everything that concerns them. John 3 verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abided on him. That shall not be you. The wrath of God shall not come upon you. So you need to go out to show to people that the love of God is shared and brought for them by the reason of God bringing Jesus to this world to save you and I. This is the best way we can celebrate the dignity that Jesus restored to mankind. He restored unto us that dignity. So to maximize the blessedness of this season, we must therefore take it to heart, to reminiscence, look back at your life. Therefore, be sorry for all your misdeeds, repent and receive salvation and go out there and ensure that you also help others to repent and to receive salvation. John 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. So you go out there, make people to believe in him so that they too shall receive the power.
to become the sons of God. Acts 2, verse 38 through 41. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off. You see that? To them that are far off is the promise made also. So go to them that are far off and let them know about this promise that God has brought for them also. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. You see what is happening everywhere. All manner of things. If you go to social media, at times you'll be afraid to sleep. All manner of evil things. Perilous th time coming upon the world. But the good news is that you are exempted. I say you are exempted. I say you are exempted. You and your household are exempted. In the name of Jesus Christ, we must lay hold and take hold of the inheritance that has been freely given to us by Jesus Christ. Romans 8 verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give you how many things? How many things? Is rice included? Is clo are clothes included? Everything that you desire, they are included in the all things. The God that freely gave you his only son, how can he restrain from you other things that he has in abundance? Is it cow you want to eat? He has them in abundance. In, on a thousand years, he has them. If he can give Jesus up for you, he will give you the best Christmas ever this year. I thought someone believed that. In the name of Jesus Christ, Acts 3, 26, unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquity. This is the season of your blessing. I say it's the season of your blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, for God so loved the world, you must demonstrate that love by giving. During this season, you must share the love of God with your neighbor, with your parents, with your siblings, with everyone. Don't say it is too small. You may not know what that person is going through at this moment. What you give may just be what will be a memorable, will bring about a memorable Christian to that person. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Give glory to God for this season. I'm alive today because you saved me. Are you giving him thanks? I'm alive today because you love me. Because you believe in me. You believe in my destiny. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Adoration, Lord. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. To everyone that believe in him, to them give him power to become. No man can become the son of God except you first say yes to Jesus. Jesus speaking, he said, no man can come to the Father except through me. Except through me. Therefore, all eyes closed, all has bowed. Now you understand the reason for the season. The reason for the season is for your salvation. If you have not said yes to Jesus, I'd like you to lift up your right hand to heaven and say these words after me. Your right hand to heaven, you want to say yes to Jesus this evening. Say after me, Lord Jesus, tonight I come before you even as I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Wash me with your blood. 
Write my name in the book of life. Empower me to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' most precious name. Let the church say amen. amen. If you have said that prayer, please, I'd like you to run forward to the front, to the altar, so that our Father in the Lord will come and put a seal on that salvation. You said yes to Jesus. You said that prayer. Please run forward. Keep putting your hands together for Jesus as we welcome God's servant. I'm desperate for you. And I I'm lost without you. Is anybody coming out at all? Hallelujah. Merry Christmas in advance. This Christmas shall be the best ever. This Christmas shall be the best ever. You believe it, let your amen be the loudest. One thing you need to understand is that there is no one that has everything to give other than God. And there is no single person who does not have what to give. Did you understand that? Only God has everything to give. But there is no single person who does not have what to give. Your bill out in the time of crisis is tied to your giving. It is important to allow it to sing. Don't allow people to use you as ladder to the top. That's why scripture says it is more blessed to give than to receive. No, don't get it wrong. It is favor that makes people to give to you. But don't eat it alone. <laughs> when you are giving, look for people also that you can use as a ladder. Did you understand the mystery? Yes. Every year, you will always be looking for who to give to you. If you don't look for who to give to. Christmas is here. You share the love of Christ by looking for people to give to. Don't allow this Christmas season to pass you by. Yes, of course. Maybe the carer's uh, squad gave certain things to you to eat. Don't eat it alone so that next year you won't come again. It's a hard truth, bitter truth that must be spoken. Except those that were born with silver spoon. The one who gave back to those ones, they broke the backbone of poverty by giving. <laughs> Did you understand what I've just said? He did not spare his only begotten son. So, there are things that you have that you can use to change level. This Christmas season, you are multiplying a thousand times many more better. 
it's not going to be empty for you. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Well, we have the wonders of God available. They will give you one pack each. Can the ushers help us out? One pack to every adult. Usher, CCU, just come to the front. They are here so that you help us out very quickly. One, one pack per person. Praise the living Jesus. Don't waste it. If you know you are not going to give it out, don't bother because it's somebody's investment. If you are going to use to decorate your car or your shed or your dining table or your center table at home, don't bother collecting it. It is part of the things that you can share with others. May the Lord grant you understanding. That is why you are busy eating rice, chicken, turkey, cow, everything. Remember to go out also to give this house to win souls to cry. Choir side, they are not. Are you fighting with the choir and the things church? Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. This shall be your best Christmas ever. This shall be your best Christmas ever. God of overnight intervention will give you a visitation tonight. God of overnight intervention will give you a visitation tonight. Before the day breaks, there shall be uncommon supplies. Uncommon supplies. This Christmas shall not be empty for you and your family. And Jesus will be glorified. No covenant hour tomorrow, but by 7 a.m., we are having one service. Christmas service. And God is said to move you to your multi-dimension level through tomorrow's service in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in peace tonight. Return with your own testimony. Go in peace tonight. Return with your own testimony. Go in peace tonight. Return with your own testimony. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have Pray. Please don't forget, 7 a.m. tomorrow is the time. God bless you. In case we have excess of that wonders of God, let's return it if you are not going to use it. Praise the living Jesus. Let's share the goodness in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Congratulations. And amen. Merry Christmas in advance. God bless.
say, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Show. I wanna wish you.